So today it is pretty rainy, as you can see, out the window there. It's uh, very rainy indeed. So uh, I went through some of the uh, different video topics I had, and a question that I have been getting um, a lot when I was on my Blue 42 Richmond account and when I was live streaming, and one that I'm still receiving to this day because a lot of people are interested in what David, the creative one, does, that thought I would know the answer which I do, is how to live stream. So I'm going to uh, explain how to live stream and I'm going to show you the different steps on the Mac. On the PC it's pretty much the same thing. You just need to have, like I said, a pretty fast computer because live streaming does take up a lot of system resources. So if you have a sort of slower computer, one of two things could happen. First of all, it may not work at all, which is terrible. And also it may work but it may be choppy and it may totally lock up your computer. So you want to you need a relatively fast computer. You need a microphone, it's just some way to input sound and also a video camera because otherwise no one likes seeing just that. People like to see your face and your different reactions. So you need a computer, microphone, and you also need like I said video camera and you also need an account or somewhere where you can stream. So for this instance, I'm going to show you how to use Ustream.tv, which, like I said, is what David, the creative one, uses, so you know it's sound. And uh, Ustream is also what I used when I will be streaming again, which is in a later video, and in my past streams. So that's all you really need. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to show you a little bit of Cam Twist, but if you're on a PC, you don't need Cam Twist, which I will show you. So anyway, let's get right into it. To get started, first of all, you're going to want to go to Ustream.tv and set up an account. One of the annoying things about Ustream is it starts off with a video here um, playing, they have a game that can be playing, and that's a little bit of an, an annoyance. You know, who is tangentially related to our campaign. All right, stop. That's kind of annoying anyway. So I already have an account. It's uh, Blue42RichMan. And uh, you're going to need to make an account. They're free, of course. I'm going to keep signed in because it's easier. You're going to have to go down and create an account. In the NC1 and then you're going to need to go to My Shows. Um, I already have multiple shows, different things I use it for. But uh, you're going to just create a new show. Name it whatever you want. Mine's called The Sherlock Report. You don't need to update a logo. You don't really need to do any of this other stuff here. You just create a show. You save it. And then you need to get this link right here. So I'm going to right click, copy link, open a new window, copy the link in there, load it up. This is going to be your page. Hey guys, Michael here. Pre recorded videos will automatically load. And this is uh, your chat room and your viewer here where you can actually see yourself. Um, so that's this is where your finished product would go. What you want to do, once you get this all set up, you want to press Broadcast Now, and then this, the Ustream TV recorder will pop up. Now you have a multitude of different things you can choose. You can choose pretty much anything you have in here. USB video class will pretty much, hey, how's it going? You can see me now, but um, USB video class will be the built-in eyesight camera. But right now, I'm going to open up a program. Cam Twist. I told you about it earlier. What Cam Twist allows you to do is it allows you to mess with the different settings. So you can add a webcam. Pop that in there. Uh, we'll add in a clock. You can uh, move it to different parts of the screen to move it up here. And edge work. Radius, make it 2.4. And then we go here, change this to Cam Twist. There are some issues with it, though. Uh. Yeah, so, Cantress is having some problems, obviously. That's expected. It's free software. Just close out Camtwist. Close out the stream recorder. Gonna open back up Camtwist. Anyway, so I have a save setup here that I like. It has the webcam, a rotating apple, and scrolling text. We'll go back here and we'll reopen the broadcaster. 
move this up a little bit. Uh, with this window, there's a lot of different things you can choose. You can choose the video and the audio quality. Most likely, when you're live streaming, you'll bring it back. You'll bring it down to about 78, 75, just because there's no way you'll be able to uh, do it with the high thing unless you have dedicated uh, lines. And there we go. You stream is working. So just the eyesight is just taking in what you can see me right here. But what Camtrust is doing is it's giving me this text which I entered in. You enter that in right here. Type that in. And this rotating apple. It's just sort of, I, I enjoy that. So that's pretty much all you do to set it up. Now to broadcast, you just press start broadcast. If you go back here to your uh, stream window, your channel lo uh, URL, which is this right here. This right here. I'll turn off the audio so there's no lag problems or uh, echoing. But as you can see, there's me. So let me just bump up the video quality. This is live streaming, so it, it'll be decent. It won't be great, amazing. Plus, this is just a built-in eyesight. But yeah, that's pretty much how you live stream. There's nothing really else you have to do. Ustream makes it really easy. And using CamTwist, particularly if you're on a Mac, it's really simple. You download CamTwist, you make an account, bam. Because the eyesight's built in, you have everything you need. Also, one of the cool things, like I said, you can do these different options. Create polls, there's advanced settings if you want to mess with your frame rates and all that. Polls. Co-hosting, if you want to have two people on at one time. It kind of really lags out, though. And Twitter. Also, you're allowed to record, so you can say you wanted to record your session so people could see it later. You can go ahead and do that right in CamTwist, so it's really easy. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Hold on. Thank you so much for watching this. I really appreciate watching all my videos at youtube.com slash the revived one, and I'd also appreciate if you could check out my blog at michaelsherlock.com. I recently redesigned it and I would like to get your thoughts on it. Any comments, questions, or concerns, email me mike.sherlock at gmail.com, or if you go to michaelsherlock.com and you press on the Contact Me page, you can go ahead and contact me. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash blue42richman. See ya!